Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. What I have here is a power supply from a Technogym Wave uh, cardio machine which I'll, I'll pop up screen how the machine looks. The issue that the machine had was powering on but it was powering off immediately. That indicated that the power supply is not delivering enough current so the electronic were just cycling on and off and I have the power supply here from obvious reason because I cannot feed the machine here on my bench and something that I immediately noticed on the power supply is this capacitors here this one and this one on the secondary side is uh, bulging so I suspect that that might be the issue that preventing this machine from starting so other than that I don't see any obvious issues other than that I'll go around the board and inspect some of the components see if there is something else that's obviously wrong but from what I can see replacing these capacitors and I'll go in and replace these two all of the four are uh, in parallel and they are the same value so I'll replace all four and we'll see if that fixes the issue here on the right we have the primary side where we have some filtering on the input some uh, capacitor and then this is the bridge rectifier that then switches using this uh, ICs here that to control the transformer that then powers on the secondary side. On the bottom we can see here is the AC input and this is it has nice separation between the high and the low voltage side and on the low voltage side there is a this I think it's a MOSFET this controls uh, a electromagnet that then reduces the uh, speed or increases the resistance that the machine have uh, when working. So let's first start by removing these capacitors and we'll continue from there to see if we have something else on the board that's uh, that might be bad.
Here I have the replacement capacitors and while I was waiting on them I ran some tests on the board and I'm unable to find anything that uh, looks wrong so I've measured the doubt, some I've measured uh, the rest of the capacitors and everything seems fine so I don't see any short circuits on the board so hopefully once we replace this uh, capacitors that will allow the output voltage to stabilize and this board to work we'll see i'll install the capacitors now and i'll test the board on the machine and see how it goes one note since these are electrolytic capacitors they are uh, polarized so we'll need to make sure that we add the negative leg to the negative and this one here is marked they they do have a small circle on the positive lead so Make sure once when you replace capacitors, make make sure that you are following the right polarity. Twenty minutes later. With the capacitors replaced, I reinstalled the board and it's housed in this uh, plastic cover that you see on the left and that fixed the issue. The machine is now working as expected. You can see that it stays on. You can see two LEDs on the left on the board that uh, we were just repairing. And you can also see the control panel that it stays on and it's lit and all of the functions work. So that was it for the repair the module properly breaks the machine using this copper plate and this transformer that that induces magnetic field and breaks the machine so everything is working as expected and that's one more repair that we successfully completed i hope that you liked this video and if you did then be sure to like it below subscribe for more videos like this and feel free to leave me a comment down below if you have any questions for the repair or for any other uh, repair and i'll see you all in the next one cheers